Hey, welcome back to SprueTube. I've missed you. Thanks for coming back. Um, if this is your first time tuning in, I build and paint models. It's a pretty fun hobby. You should do it if you don't already. This has been a nice conversation. Let's get to the video. So today I'm painting the Airfix 172nd Curtis Hawk that I built last week. Um, and some change. Sorry this is late. Um, so the paints that I'm using seem kind of wrong to use because they're all German camouflage colors on this American plane. Uh, they're from one of Vallejo's Panzer Aces series. They're all splinter camo colors. Uh, this is the gray base, which is a really good color for the bottom of some planes, I think. Might not be the most accurate, but I think it looks alright. i just painting a couple thin-ish layers with my large brush. And I'm going opposite directions with each layer to try to have an even coat with no brush marks. Then I paint the wheels black. It's, it's just black. It's not any special kind of black. It's not black brown that a lot of people use. It's just normal black. The only difficulties here are not making a huge mess, which I mostly avoided doing. I got a little bit on the wings. And getting under the gear legs was a little tricky. But I just kind of stuck my brush in there. Pretty steep angle. And then masking. This is one of the longer parts of doing this, but it's very crucial to do this if you want good results or at least decent results. I won't claim that my results are great. <sighs> but anyway, yeah, so I just go around covering all the surfaces where the bottom color meets the top color. It takes quite a few pieces of tape and a lot of patience and some cutting of the tape after you've put it on. But like I said, it's a very important part of doing this. This is definitely one of those times where putting a lot of work in before the painting makes the end result much, much better. You can see there I was cutting the excess tape from the ends of the wings with my knife. The little bumps where the landing gear come out of the wings were a little difficult to tape and I don't think I got them super even or super clean. So if you do this, you might want to try a little more than I did. <laughs> There's also a lot of cutting with how I did the tail. And then I painted the first top color. I 
Started with the lighter brown color, which is again from German splinter camo. Uh, I made sure to, when I could, paint away from the masking tape so it wouldn't build up along the edge. And I just covered the whole thing in a couple layers of paint. It's really satisfying to paint something a dramatically different color with a paint that covers really well. Mmm. Satisfying. It's not covering the best, but that's what the second coat's for. Uh, there was a little bit on the nose of the plane, on the bottom that got covered by masking tape, so you'll see me fix the little spot with the brown later, because the whole nose is supposed to be brown. So here's the second coat, just cleaning up the coat underneath it, filling in all the little brush marks and gaps. It's pretty important to leave at least like 10 or 15 or more minutes between each coat or each color. Uh, you'll see later when I take the masking tape off that it peels a lot of the underside paint off because it probably wasn't as dry as it should be when I put the masking tape on. So that was a little mistake on my part. Now's the fun part. I freehanded, kind of following the picture on the box of a camouflage pattern. The green ended up not looking as flat as the brown because it was a bunch of tiny brush strokes, but I don't mind that much. There's no real way for me to get it not like that and have the same effect. Uh, one thing, the little roundels on the tips of the wings, uh, they had a little circle of the brown color left behind them, but I didn't think I would be able to precisely put the brown circles in the right spots, so I decided to just paint green and put the decal over it. This process is a little time consuming, but it's kind of fun actually. Just kind of making up how you think it should look. I think the best part is the part where I was trying to copy what was on the box. But I still like how the rest of it turned out. time consuming but still fun also satisfying I liked painting the outlines of the shapes that I was thinking of and then filling them in it's like a, a an adult coloring book not adult in that way a grown-up coloring book <laughs> I'm not a grown-up If you haven't yet, be sure to smash that like button. It helps me out. Even though I joke about it, I do appreciate all your likes and comments and subscribes. You can check out my Patreon and my Instagram. I post pictures of things I'm working on for videos and also not working on for videos. Maybe I'll even give some hints of what I'm gonna do next. Whoa. Or I'll just post pictures of poorly painted figures. 
Who can say? And then I took the tape off and peeled half the paint off with it. Ooh. Ouchie. Sort of became a puzzle for me to take off the most recently put on tape because some pieces of tape were holding down other pieces of tape. So I had to take one off before another. And a lot of paint with it. Oh god. And then I got the ball of tape stuck on my hand. It might seem brief here, but this is five times speed, so imagine it taking five times as long. So I just quickly filled in the little brown spot I was talking about earlier on the nose, where the tape was covering. And then I filled in all the horrible pulled up paint. My friend that got me into modeling claims that Vallejo is notorious, at least for him, uh, for peeling with masking tape. But it's all I've ever used, so I can't compare it to anything else. Other than basic craft paints, which just rub off from the air, essentially. Don't try painting figures' boots with craft paint. It doesn't, it doesn't end well. The result of this is a little sloppier than I would like. It kind of left an uneven look on the spots that I fixed, and a smoother texture on the parts that didn't need to get fixed. But it's better than being the wrong color, I guess. part to paint is the propeller. Again, just normal black. Both sides. I was careful not to get any on the nose. I probably did though, but it's a close enough color. You can't tell. And I was quite careful. really starting to look like a thing, isn't it? Comment below what thing you think it looks like. Bonus points to whoever gets it right. Oh yeah, and the guns. I almost forgot to paint them, and I almost forgot to mention them. I painted the guns black, too. There. Now I've mentioned them. Then I just had to get the little... exhaust... things, maybe? I'm no expert on planes, but it's the little spiky things on the side of the front. You know? Uh, I left those off because I didn't want to get them all painted, but I guess it doesn't matter. I thought I was going to paint them before attaching them, but then I attached them and then painted them. And it was fine! So I just glued them on with super glue because everything around it was already painted, and then I just painted them black. Just normal black. And then I painted them off screen like a genius. Last little bit of them, and then the final step is to put a little yellow on the tips of the propellers. I did it kind of sloppily, but eh. At least I did it on both sides. 
And then it was done, and it looks much more colorful than before, at the very least. Uh, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Uh, next time I'll put decals on, and I think I'm going to try to weather it. I've never tried weathering a plane, but what the heck, let's do it. Uh, so, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're having a good day. Let me know how you're doing. I do care. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe, tell me about your day, tell me if you like it or don't like it, tell me what I can do better, tell me what I did the worst, just tell me anything. But most of all, have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Bye.